Now let's take a look at our variable overhead variances for that same company, Dicow Productions. You'll see that our variable overhead standards were set based on machine hours. That's considered our cost driver. And we calculated in the planning phase a rate of $10 per hour for each machine hour for each product produced. During the year, we used 10,800 machine hours and a cost of $10.20 per hour. So our standard rate was calculated in the planning phase at $10 per hour, and we actually worked 10,800 hours. But our actual spending was $10.20 per hour for those 800 hours. And so our spending, the extra 20 cents that we spent per machine hour, led us to an unfavorable variance of $2,160 based on the actual hours worked. But let's see how many hours we should have worked to calculate the efficiency variance. We expected 10 machine hours for each unit that we produced. And remember, we produced 1,000 units. So 1,000 units at 10 hours each should have been 10,000 machine hours. But as we know from the problem, we actually worked 10,800 hours. So in the evaluating phase of the management cycle, we calculate the 800 extra hours that we worked creates an unfavorable variance based on the estimated cost of $10 per hour. We have an unfavorable $8,000 efficiency variance. Again, spending variance and efficiency variance are very similar to the the rate or price and the quantity or efficiency variance that we calculated for direct materials and direct labor in the two earlier problems. Now, just like in those problems, at the bottom of the template, we have the diagram form. Again, you may choose to use these if you prefer. So $10.20 per hour times the 10,800 hours that we worked is the actual variable overhead, the $10 per hour that we expected times the 1,000 products at 10 hours per product that we budgeted. Our overhead variance would have been budgeted in the flexible budget for $100,000. We actually spent $110,160. And so the total variance, $10,160. And finally, we can if I put the number in the correct spot, we can calculate our how much of that variance was from efficiency. That is, it took us more hours than we planned. And how much of that is from spending. That's the extra 20 cents per hour that it cost us to create the products. And that is the variable overhead variance. Our last exercise will be the fixed overhead variance for die productions, and we'll do that next.